In this tutorial, we're going to be going over another fundamental of Reaper, which is the actions window. So it's very important to state that the heart of Reaper's functionality is based on actions. In other words, that everything that we do when we're working in Reaper involves an action of some sort, whether that's creating a new track, whether that's creating a MIDI region, trimming that region, splitting it, moving it, changing our grid size, all of these things involve actions. And the way that we can find them is in the actions window. Now, if we come up here, go to actions, show action list, the keyboard shortcut is question mark on your computer. Then as you can see, we have a huge dialog box with all of the available options of actions in Reaper. And there are thousands of them. This window is where, where we can apply shortcuts, macros, create new custom actions, speed up our workflow when it comes to producing music. As you can see over here, we have a section option and this will go over all of the actions that are available for each window. So here's the MIDI editor window. Here's the event list editor, the inline editor, and the media explorer. All of these actions are applicable to whichever section it mentions on here. Now, when we work with actions, if we click on one, then let's just say trim item, we could say trim left edge of item to edit cursor, for example. So if I move my edit cursor there, move this window and click run over here, it will run that action. And there's also an option to run the action and close the window as well. Now, if you have any doubts with any functionality of Reaper, you can easily change it using the actions window. And if there's a section in it that you're not sure about, or like if there's a doubt with how something works, just type in a term of what you want it to do. For example, delete, zoom, razor edit, and it will show all the actions associated with that. You can even go deeper and more specific with what you want to type in, and you might even surprise yourself with what comes up. So I'll give you an example. Let's just go with Zoom. And next thing you know, all the scripts that you've downloaded, all the SWS actions are all there, and all the native actions are all there that are associated with Zoom. Let's try another one. Let's go delete. We've got my custom actions, we've got scripts, and then we have native actions and SWS actions as well. So just typing in a keyword here, is really important because you'll find out a lot of functionality about Reaper that you probably didn't even know existed. And like I say, there are so many of them. So using this filter box is really, really important. There is an option of creating custom actions, which is a very, very important part of Reaper. And if you go down to here and go new action, you can create a new custom action there. And then in this window, you can drag all of the actions that you want and chain them appropriately to create a custom action for yourself. What you can also do here is assign shortcuts to whichever action that you want. So for example, say I wanted to cycle through record modes, I can go add, and now I can add any shortcut that I want. If you're already using a shortcut, for example, like this, it will come up with a warning and tell you that that's already being used for another shortcut. Now, finally with actions, and this is a bit more of an administration point, is if we go to our preferences, shortcut is command comma, go to general export configurations. That is going to have all of our custom actions, all of our themes, all of our menu sets, they're, they're everything, and we can save that into a folder. And if you eventually build up a lot of different custom actions, a lot of macros and a lot of kind of possibly even scripts and things like that, then you want to somehow like back them up. I have a weekly backup of all my actions and configurations because I've done a lot of customizing on my Reaper in terms of the shortcuts. So I would urge you to do the same, just back it up once a week or once every couple of weeks just to make sure that you don't lose them.